If you're a GCSE student and you've done a mock before, you might have seen this question and it may have traumatized you. Let's go through it now. It's actually not that bad. This came up in a non-calculator paper and you just need to follow what it's saying and actually it's pretty decent, Mike. I mean, it's a pretty horrible thing you need to show, uh, but the actual steps to get there are not that bad. Uh, I don't think anyway, <laughs> so let's see, innit? Uh, I think it was a five or six mark question, which is crazy. So we have a hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, three sides, three sides. It's just a weird looking hexagon. It's been divided down the middle into two congruent parallelograms. Uh, a, B is B, C is X. I added those X's to the diagram. Uh, we've got B, P and B, Q are 10. Angle A, B, C is 30. Prove that the cosine of the angle at B that connects uh, P, B, and Q is this. All right. Well, I think the first thing we need to do is identify what triangle they're even on about. All right. Cos of P, B, Q. P, B, Q. So they're talking about this triangle. All right. Uh, let's try and go horizontal. They're saying cos of this angle, cos of this angle, show it's this. All right, well, they have told us that BP and BQ is 10. Now, I'm not, trying not to mess up the diagram too much. You'll see why I'm putting them here in a second. So here's an isosceles triangle, okay? I'm going to use this fact in a second. So, because of this, I'm thinking about the cosine rule, all right? Now, the cosine rule will involve these two lengths and this opposite side. But I don't know what this side is, so I'm going to have to find it out. And it's most likely going to be in terms of x. Now, how am I going to find that? Most likely, I'm going to have to use this fact. But this fact about the angle A, B, C being 30 is to do with a different triangle, yeah? Now, it's slightly off, the diagram would be better, but this length PQ is the exact same length as AC. Yeah, it's just I haven't lined it up properly, the actual image it was. So, if I just join this up and pretend it's horizontal, if I can find the length AC, I can equate that to PQ, all right? So let me just redraw that triangle so you guys can see it better. So we have B, C, A. We have X, X. We have this length, which I don't know. And we have this angle, 30 degrees. Okay? Now we're going to use the cosine rule to work out what this length is. Okay? And maybe you're thinking, oh, we can divide it by 2, but then you're dealing with 15 degrees. Uh, it is a non-calculator paper, so we can't be doing that. So, what is the cosine rule? A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now, little a and the angle in question have to be opposites. So, this is going to be cos of 30 degrees. And then this, I'm going to write as AC. AC squared is X squared plus X squared minus 2 BC, which is X times X, cos of 30. Okay, so we've got AC squared is X squared plus X squared is 2X squared minus 2X squared. But don't forget, you need to know what cos of 30 is in your non-calculated paper exam. Cos of 30 is root 3 over 2, which is great because then the 2's cancel. Okay. All right, so it's not very nice because I need to root all of that, right? So I have AC squared is 2x squared minus x squared root 3. Okay, now obviously you can factorize out x squared at least. So I could say AC squared is if we factorize out x squared, I'll get 2 minus root 3. Now... I'm not going to root that, okay? I mean, in the answer, they have x squared. That's good. So I'm not going to root it just because, remember, with this triangle, we're going to be using the cosine rule again, okay? So I'm not actually going to root that. 
because this AC, remember, is the same as PQ. So instead of saying it's AC, I can now say it's PQ. Now in the exam, guys, I'll write it again, but let's save some space. Space. All right, now let's look at the other triangle. So this is the angle we are interested in. Let me call it theta. So let's talk about cos of theta. Cos, actually no, let's do the original uh, cosine rule. The original cosine rule would say, look, I've written it here, where the opposites, yeah, length and angle. Opposites, length and angle, okay? So it's still gonna be my PQ squared, just like I did with AC, AC squared. It's gonna be PQ squared is this squared plus this squared, so 10 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 BC, so 10 times 10, cos of the angle theta, which that is just PBQ, all right? Now I know what this is. Yes, yeah, this. So I have 2 minus root 3 uh, x squared. This is exactly why I didn't root it. It's 10 squared plus 10 squared. That's 100 plus 100 which is 200 minus 2 times 10 times 10 is 200 cos theta. Now, ah, I see how they're doing this. We're going to rearrange for cos PBQ, which is this. We need to rearrange for cos. So the first thing I'm going to do, ah, look, 2 minus root 3, 2 minus root 3x squared, nice. So I'm going to bring this here to make it positive. I'm going to bring this here to make it negative. So the minus 200 cos theta over on this side will be 200 cos theta is 200. Then this positive thing on the other side will be negative. It will be negative of 2 minus root 3 x squared. Now, can you see how they're getting this? There's no coefficient of 200, right? So I'm literally going to divide through by 200. But can you see they have one here? They've clearly split the fraction. So they're actually dividing everything by 200, and there's our answer. So cos of theta is one minus this fraction, which is what they were looking for. Two minus root three, x squared, all divided by 200, and that is proved. So now, you guys don't need to be traumatized by this question anymore, because I've proved it for you. So. If you learned something today, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe for more YouTube mass content like this. If you're interested in my GCSE courses, then click the link in the description. I'll see you all in the next video. Nice one, Mike.